Imagine relaxing and ending your day in this beautiful master bedroom where every color, fabric, and furnishing was carefully selected to bring about a calming feeling. This is the creation and vision of interior designer Susan Ferrier. My motivation for the room uh, was to create a place where <clears throat> you would begin and end your day in a, a more sanctuary-like feeling. Susan is known for her use of color to create emotion. In this room, since the motivation is calming, she used colors from nature that blend with the outdoors. I'm, I'm trying to utilize some earth tones, uh, tones that are going to look good because of the big beautiful window, tones of color that are going to look good when you look outside past the window, something that's going to be really blending. You know, I chose to not use colors that activate your heart and your mind, like reds or even yellows. Not only did Susan use colors from nature, she also used plants to blend the outside with the inside. And did bring the outside in. Uh, I think that plants are also a great way to fill a space and calm a space and make things feel a little bit warmer and more homelike. Susan says when she first sees a room, she imagines where she would enjoy and view it. I felt like that was the place everybody's going to be drawn to. So I took advantage of the natural uh, draw to that corner. She certainly made the space cozy, warm, and inviting. You could either be alone or have your family with you, so a big sofa just seemed like the natural um, instinct, at least in me, to incorporate in that nook. Everything in this room is carefully thought out. From the cozy nook to the mix of large and small pieces, all the furnishings and all the accessories are here to create a warm, comforting feeling. Even though it feels good, there was a lot of intellect that was involved in the, uh, cho the choices that were made. And for someone to use their head and balance the math of a room um, so that it looks like it's just a feeling, that's a very difficult thing to do. For instance, notice the fabrics used in the drapes as well as the furniture. It's soft both in texture and in color. I like when you look at something and your eye can feel it as well as your hand. That's especially true for the drapes. That is almost like a faux fur that people would think about probably using as a throw. It's very soft visually. We took the throw and they, we threw it around the room. Textures are definitely something that I think people will notice when they come into this room. People will also notice the large-scale pieces in this room, like the painting by James McLaughlin Way. There's such a stillness to the imagery of that single horse and the simplicity of the high contrast of the white horse against the black background. Another popular item in the room is this bed. It creates a room within a room, the way the posts are uh, positioned. It was custom made just for this room. My partner, Bobby McAlpin, designed the bed, and it has been very, very popular. The pieces next to the bed depict how Susan loves to mix masculine and feminine looks, as well as antique and contemporary pieces. I do love the bedside table. It's very feminine. And uh, the other side of the bed has a very masculine piece on it. And that was on purpose, that it's a really good combination of found objects, which are objects purchased that would be considered antiques with new product. Another aspect Susan enjoys is finding the perfect accessories. Accessorizing a room properly is just like putting on the right jewelry. It needs to complement what's being worn, uh, which is the furniture and the drapery and the larger scale objects, and kind of give it a little bit of spark or a twinkle. The eggs in the nest are almost opalescent, so there's depth to them. So I like tricking the eye with the accessory items. The master bath is also the work of Susan Ferrier. I wanted to make sure that we drew our attention up so we could experience the entire volume of the master bathroom. It was very glamorous. It was very, um, it was cool in its, in its white stone. So I felt like because it was so cool, it needed to be warmed up. And uh, we incorporated the beautiful crystal chandelier. Once again, it was another juxtaposition between what I perceive as a masculine uh, space or masculine fi finishes with a more feminine uh, element, which of course are the crystals. And because you don't have a lot of opportunities to accessorize, I liked that there was some re reflectivity in those crystals as well. The sheer panels are another soft touch in this elegant, sophisticated master bath. Designing a room in a show house is always fun for Susan. It's a chance to do exactly what she wants.
So I enjoy doing it because I get to uh, follow my thesis statement 100% of the time. On the other hand, Susan thoroughly enjoys the chance to work with clients to learn all about them and to have limitations. The more a client shares with me and tells me about their lifestyle and their likes and dislikes, the more successful a project will be. Whether it's designing a beautiful master suite like this one or working in a client's home, Susan's passion is creating beautiful spaces. I love what I do. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that I could do anything else.